In part C of this question, we're looking for the sum of the first 10 terms in the sequence. It helps to remember what the sum means. Sum we write with the letter S. Sum just means you add up all the. So in this case here, if we want S10, that means we want the sum of the first 10 terms. That means we want the first term plus a second term plus a third term all the way up to the 10th. Remember what our sequence looks like. It's three, that's the first term, then seven. And after that, I guess you can say it's 11, and it keeps going. It technically keeps going forever. Remember these different uh, values that we needed. We have u1, which is the first term, that's 3. And we have d, which is the common difference, which in this case was 4. There's a difference of 4. That means you always add 4 to the next term. Now, in order to solve this, I think it helps to look up the equation for the sum of the first 10 terms in an arithmetic sequence. And you can look this up. Again, don't memorize it. That's why I'm going to put it in green like this. So sn equals n over 2. So you just look this up in case you forgot it. No problem at all. You just look it up. Uh, n minus 1 times d. It looks a lot like the f uh, nth term of a uh, arithmetic sequence. That's this u1 plus n minus 1d. Except it has a 2 in front, and then it has the n over 2. So this right here is the equation we're going to be using. So let's see now how it is that we can use it. Hopefully you can see it's not so, so bad. All we need to do now is just take a look at this, put in 10. Remember, we know what u1 is, we know d, and if we want the 10th term, we know n is 10 in this case. Then it's just a matter of filling in all the stuff. So instead of n, we put in a 10. So we go 10 over 2. Open bracket here. We have 2 times u1. u1 is 3. Plus, and again, we put an n minus 1 where n is 10. So it's 10 minus 1 times d, d which is 4. I'm showing you every step. You know, some people like to skip steps. That's perfectly fine. 10 over 2 is 5. Let's do this open bracket here. 2 times 3 is 6 plus uh, 10 minus 1. That's 9 times 4. Remember what 9 times 4 is. That's 36. And 36 plus 6, that's uh, 42. So we have to do 5 times 42. That's S10. And yes, you're expected to do this by hand. And some people like to do it, you know, the old school way, like how do I do 42 times 5 or go like this? There's lots of ways. It doesn't matter. As long as you can do it yourself. You can just count on your hands. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can go times 10, for example, and then divide that by 2. That's how I like to do it. So in other words, I'd say 420 and then uh, divide that by 2. So that's 210. But another way to do it is like this. So 2 times 5 is, remember doing this a long time ago? 2 times 5 is 10. We put a little 1 here. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. Either way, it doesn't matter how you get there, you better be able to get the answer of S10 equals 210. There we go, we're done the question.